Beto O'Rourke is running for president of the United States, shocking really nobody. And the question is, which lane does he have to run in? Is he one of the Democrat socialists in the race, or is he one of the very few moderate centrist Democrats running? Hey everybody, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. So Beto O'Rourke running for president in a uh, headline from CNBC, Beto O'Rourke is running for president. Like Obama, he has sought the middle ground on policy while his Democratic rivals veer to the left. Uh, you look at uh, you look at uh, the story from CNBC. While O'Rourke may have seemed to many like a dyed-in-the-wool liberal while he was running for a uh, strong Senate race against former Republican uh, presidential hopeful, his voting record in Congress more closely resembles that of Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, a self-styled moderate, than it does that of Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who describes himself as a Democrat socialist. In a 2020 Democrat primary field that's currently awash in candidates, each looking for their way to claim the mantle of most progressives, it's unclear precisely where O'Rourke would fall, but it surely wouldn't be on the far left. All right, so let's look at what Beto O'Rourke believes. Beto O'Rourke, since his Senate race, and let's just take since the Senate race, because that's what you actually have to run. When uh, when Beto O'Rourke was running uh, against Ted Cruz uh, in the Senate race uh, here in Texas, of course he couldn't run far to the left, and in fact... You really never heard Beto O'Rourke talk much about policy. Uh, on my radio show, uh, where uh, he came on twice, he talked about limiting the sale of AR-15s, that he would not want to sell AR-15s if uh, if he were elected as, uh, as a U.S. senator. One can assume that as president, he would outlaw the sale of AR-15s. Let's look at the Green New Deal. Uh, he has embraced the idea of a Green New Deal, saying in an interview that while he has not officially endorsed it. It's the best idea that he has heard in taking on climate change. And he believes that if we don't uh, do something drastic within 12 years, then humanity will be lost. Uh, Beto O'Rourke has also said in previous interviews that he would be just fine tearing down the existing border walls, that he would be okay uh, with people coming across into the United States. Beto O'Rourke's policies, oh yeah, he also embraces Medicaid for all, or Medicare for all, excuse me. So Beto O'Rourke's policies, where he stands on many issues, is far to the left. Now, does he call himself a Democrat socialist? No. Does he call himself a capitalist? Yes. Uh, so he may be to the right of Bernie Sanders, but it's not by very much. And I think he's much to the left of Amy Klobuchar and even Joe Biden. He embraces uh, 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 Ocasio-Cortez. Beto O'Rourke is is in a way uh, to the left of uh, of uh, of many uh, well, many Republicans, absolutely, but of even some Democrats out there. Beto O'Rourke, I would peg him maybe not as far left as Bernie Sanders, maybe not as far left as in Elizabeth Warren, but he's right there and he's very very close. The problem with Beto O'Rourke, uh, or maybe the plus side for Beto O'Rourke, depending on how you're looking at uh, at this, is that he really tries not to define himself. Uh, Beto O'Rourke doesn't want to put himself in a box. Beto O'Rourke wants to keep people guessing where he's going to stand on issues. Uh, in fact, in Iowa, uh, he brought up, uh, or I guess he was uh, uh, given a question in Iowa about packing the court and uh, you know uh, bringing in maybe 15 Supreme Court justices, and he said, you know, that's a really interesting idea. You know, we have a lot of smart people in the United States. We can kick around a lot of different ideas. And that's what Beto O'Rourke does. He says, that's a really good idea. We need to consider that. We have a lot of smart people. So it's really hard to nail down where Beto O'Rourke stands. You have to kind of, you have kind of to parse his words a little bit. And you kind of have to see what he is saying and where he is saying it. Again, if I had to place Beto O'Rourke, I wouldn't agree with the CNBC article that places him as a centrist. Not at all. I would place Beto O'Rourke, from what I've heard recently, uh, on the far left of the Democrat Party. Maybe uh, not to uh, the the, the uh, impact of Bernie Sanders or Ocasio Cortez, but much closer to them than Joe Biden. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, eight thirty to eleven a.m. Central Time on News Talk ninety five point one FM and seven ninety a.m. KFYF.